How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Headlocks and Hot Packs. Hopefully you all had a great weekend as we cap off your weekend tonight with uh, what we promised in our last trading card opening video with 94 Fleer Baseball. We're going to be checking out some modern football this time around. We've got a blaster box, and let's get a look at it. There it is. We're going to be taking a look at this blaster of 2021 Panini Contenders Football. Seven cards per pack here and six packs in a box. I think you can still find these online, possibly. Of course, I am uh, still on the hunt to pull a Mac Jones rookie where he's in his Patriots jersey. I believe all the rookies in here are autographs. So um, I, pr I know the Mac Jones one is. So uh, that's going to be pretty much impossible to find. We're also going to keep an eye out for the Ultra Rare Stardust Parallels, which means we probably won't find one. For Cody Rhodes Parallel, I guess you could say, unwrap stunning inserts on the top, as it says there. Uh, find one autograph or rookie ticket swatch variation per box. So I actually didn't realize that. So we should have a hit in this video today. And then here's a look at some of the things that can be found, if everybody can read it over the Panini logos. But without any further ado, let's jump right in. I'm going to be looking for Patriots, of course. Um, I guess really the best out of this that you can hope for is that your hit is a good one. But uh, first time checking out this year of Contenders here on the channel, so thanks for uh, kicking it w with me here on a Sunday night. There is a look at our packs. I would imagine the design is probably going to be the same as <clears throat> um, Contenders Basketball from 2122, but let's take a look. We checked that out recently, and uh, yeah, pretty well the same, but the first guy, we won't be seeing him this year, Calvin Ridley. He is suspended for the season, but there is a look at the design, the usual... Uh, kind of ticket stub looking design that they go for with contenders, so nothing new there. Justin Jefferson, Joe Mixon, Crowder, Devontae Adams, of course he's in Vegas now, and uh, Josh Jacobs, the next one there. And then here's our insert MVP contenders, Daniel Jones. He will be, I think, lucky to be the starting quarterback for the Giants after this year if he doesn't step it up. So, on to our next pack. Like I said, we've got six to check out here. If we uh, come across our hit early, I will move that one to the back. So, fair warning, there is Josh Allen, and we do have a Patriot, Jacoby Myers. So I'll sleeve that one up, obviously. Not really any value to that, but I sleeve all my PC items because uh, why not if I want to them, then I might as well take decent care of them. Zeke Elliott there, Juju Smith-Schuster. I'm predicting he's going to have a good year for the Chiefs, and not just a good year, but my prediction is that he will be the best Chiefs wideout this year. Keyword wideout, not including Travis Kelsey. Derrick Henry there, and then on the back we kind of caught a glimpse of it. It's Gladiators, that's kind of a cool one. Tyron Matthew for the Chiefs. I think he, did he... Didn't he move on? I don't know that he's with the Chiefs anymore. I'm trying to feel if there are any of these packs feel thicker. I'm not noticing anything yet, so... It does say per box on average, so... Perhaps we will get hosed over. Actually, nope. Our hit is right here, and it's right on the back, on the front, so I guess we won't save it. But, um... It's an Amon Ra St. Brown. Rookie card relic. So I guess uh, swatch variation, rookie ticket swatch variation. But um, at least it's a decent name. Amon Ross St. Brown had a uh, pretty solid year for the Lions last season. Got a little bit of white on that top, really the whole top border there. So that's a little bit unfortunate. But um, like I said, at least it's a uh, rookie we know and a decent one. Not any of the big names, but we'll take it. Not too bad. So uh, it was... Three packs in, halfway through, we got our hit there. I was going to save it, but uh, ended up on the top of the pack. There's Jimmy G, LaVisca Chenault, and then Matt Ryan. 
course, he is now with the Colts, which uh, they should be better. I know Matt Ryan is certainly not an elite quarterback, but uh, he's definitely better than Carson Wentz. Cooper Cup, of course, coming off an amazing year. Darnold in a QB competition with uh, Baker Mayfield now. Murray Cooper moved on to Cleveland. Mark Andrews, Aguilar, so a couple of Patriots here. I want to say there's only... Um, actually, I've got a thicker sleeve here, so let's sleeve up Mr. Uh, St. Brown, since I just happen to have a thicker one there. Uh, as I was saying, I think that there is only four or five Pats base cards, um, not including the Mac Jones autograph. And the last one, Chain Movers, there's Mr. Contract Claus himself, Kyler Murray. I had a pretty funny joke about his uh, contract clause. I think everybody knows what I'm talking about, where he's required to um, do some independent film study for four hours a week. A whopping four hours per week. Mike Gusecki, he was on my fantasy squad last year. T. Higgins, Marcus May. But uh, the joke was, what's the difference between Santa's family reunion and Kyler Murray's contract? Kyler Murray's contract... Has more clauses. <laughs> Henry Ruggs, his career is over, and I won't get into any more detail than that. I think everybody remembers Khalil Mack there, and then lastly, another Kyler Murray. It's a Kyler Murray hot box. That's kind of a cool insert, though. Winning ticket. In uh, looks like there's like very very slight white on a couple of these. I vaguely saw the uh, back of this on the back of the pack and thought like it was a redemption of some sort, or perhaps some advertising, so, uh, the Kyler Murray Contract Clause hot box here in, uh, 2021 Contenders. As we hit our last pack, I guess probably the coolest thing would be the Amon Ross St. Brown. There's Dak Ben Roethlisberger, he'll definitely get in the Hall of Fame. Randall Cobb, A.J. Brown now in Philly, Stafford for the Super Bowl champs, Tredavious White, and then finally... Power players, Jonathan Taylor, the reigning rushing leader. But uh, yeah, I would say the Amon Ra St. Brown relic. This is uh, the best thing out of this box. But per I don't know, perhaps someone would disagree with me. If you thought something else was better, let me know in the comments down below. And just let me know what you thought of this box in general in uh, the comments as well. Got a couple of Patriots there, so we'll take that. But nothing too crazy out of here. Um, again... All you can really hope for is that your hit is of a name that you've actually heard of. So, uh, not too bad. Decent, like I said. But, uh, no Mac Jones. Didn't think we had really much of a shot at pulling a Mac Jones auto out of this blaster. But, uh, that's all we've got for you all this evening. Next time we get together for a box opening, we're going to be hitting up a repack product, that championship collection box from, uh, Walgreens. I've been sitting on that for a while picked up two of them. I'm going to check out one on my own just so I have somewhat of an idea of what I'm getting into and don't sound like a complete moron. And uh, then we will check one out with the rest of you guys. So make sure you come on back for that one. Of course, more games and reactions in between. But uh, until the next time we meet again, everybody enjoy the rest of your night and have a good work week, hopefully. Sorry to remind you, but uh, we will see you guys later.